Hi guys, happy Friday. I wanted to show you guys something and plus the lighting is kind of okay. I know this side is shaded, but whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys something. I've always liked to read, but right now I'm reading a lot. I go back and forth from my Kindle to an actual book. So this is my Kindle, right? And this is the Kindle third generation. It's called the Kindle keyboard as a keyboard so you turn it off and on and each time you turn it off and on it'll show a different picture right okay and then this is the off and on button you charge it here this is where you can put headphones in because on the back there are speakers you can have the Kindle read your book to you and this right here is the volume up and volume down button if you'd like to use that feature which I don't use and then on the sides here on both sides there's buttons where you can like go to the next page or go back or that's how you navigate and then stuff like this right so I bought this in 2010 and it's been working fine I have no issues with it but lately the girl is dying my pressures is going down when I charge it, it should take about a couple of hours to charge, right? It's been taking like eight or 10 hours, sometimes longer. One time I plugged it before I went to bed, woke up the next morning and, okay. So when you do charge it, you see how it's green? That light will be like an amber color and then when it's charged, it'll turn green. If I charge it before I go to bed, I'll wake up and it's still the amber color and I'll unplug it, plug it back thinking, you know, maybe, I don't know, I didn't put the plug in correctly and no, it just takes forever to charge. And then sometimes when I turn it on, oh, see, it changed the picture again because I turned it off and on. So sometimes when I turn it on, it takes forever to turn on. So yeah, my baby's going down. And I don't want to live without a Kindle because I know how it is having one. And I was afraid that it was going to shut down completely and all my books would just be lost. I mean, I know it's still on Amazon, but I just wouldn't have any place to put them, right? So I may or may not have bought a Kindle that may or may not be out for delivery. Yes, I got a new Kindle. This has served me well for so many years. And actually, Savannah wants it, which I am not going to give it to her. I'm gonna loan it to her. This whole sentimental value to me, I don't know why, but the thought of giving it to her, I, I just couldn't like give it to her like it's completely yours. So Amazon had this thing to where they would buy it back. They were like five bucks, no thank you. I don't know, this just holds so many sentiments to value to me because this has got me through a lot of stressful times. Cause when you read a book or when I read a book, I'm in to the story, I'm into the story, right? So yeah, I'm totally immersed into the stories and I just love to read like that, right? So I told her, I said, it's on loan. When you do get a Kindle, cause she does plan on getting one. I said, this goes back to me because it's just, it's my baby. Yeah. So after I ordered the new one, then I found out that you can get a new battery for this. It's $20, not that expensive. And they send you the tools to open the back. I guess you do it on the sides or whatever. They show you how to replace the battery. There you go. Would I have still done that had I found that out first? Mm, maybe, I mean, I don't know. Who's to say? But I think it's just time. I mean, I know I can return the new Kindle, but I don't wanna do that. I think it's just time. But then yet, I don't wanna let go of this. Yeah, I'm going to let Savannah borrow this, but the only thing I'm concerned about her borrowing it is once I get my new Kindle, I'll have to deregister this and then set it back to factory settings. So I'm concerned that once that's done, that she won't be able to put her information and stuff on here because it's such an older model. They're on the 11th generation now, this is the third. So yeah, I'm like a little bit behind, but there was no reason to get a new one. The only issue I ever had with this, other than it taking forever to charge, is in 2022, okay, so before then, you go on here to the Kindle store if you wanna search for a book, you could buy a new book 
it's on here automatically or there's a lot of free books, boom, it's there. I was able to do that up until 2022. Until, y'all, I just thought about on TikTok, there's a guy who does true crime stories and then he'll tell the story in the middle. He'll be like, until, and if I remember, I'll try to show you like a little clip of it, what I'm talking about. Until. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this, but when I said that, it reminded me of him. So until 2022, I was able to go on the Kindle store on here and do what I needed to do. Then all of a sudden, got this message that said, basically your Kindle's too old to support having the Kindle store on here, which is a choice, Amazon. Not that they're gonna see this, but that's a choice that they made. It was working fine. I, it was working fine. I had no issues with it. Maybe they wanted more people to buy the newer Kindles because they know people are holding on. I don't know. I don't know everything about technology. I get that older things, you know, don't have the capability sometimes to have the newer things in them. That I get. But when you had it on here and took it off, that's a choice. Yeah. And also on the new Kindles, like who do you think you are? <laughs> With the new Kindles, they'll send you the charging cord but the power brick that you plug into the wall, that's no longer included with your purchase. You have to buy that separately, or in my case, I can use my old one. Now, with Savannah, she's gonna have to buy a whole new everything when she gets it. So at least I hope that she would be able to use it once all my information gets off of here. And the only thing I'm afraid of deregistering it is if she cannot get her stuff on here, I probably won't be able to get my information back. And she's like, but mom, why do you want two Kindles? Well, leave the new one at home and take the good one out, vacations and whatever. And then, yeah, because this is, is in good condition. And the only thing that happened is, let me try to show you guys right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's like a crack right there in the corner. I had had this maybe like a month or two, and I don't remember if I dropped it or if I dropped something on it. But I do remember that when it happened, my heart leapt out my chest because I thought it was gonna be broken. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Anyway, I thought it was broken. I just thought it was done for, but it still worked fine. So I made sure I let her know that if she notices that, don't think she did it, that was done by me when she was a little girl when I got it. but. Yeah, you guys, when the new Kindle gets here, we are going to do an unboxing. I've never got a cover for this. You were able to get like skins to put on front and back or even a cover. But this container right here, a container, this right here, this is how I've always used it. And it worked for me. But for the new one, I was looking and I was trying to find a cover or some kind of case, but I'd rather have no case than to buy a case that I think is ugly. So, I don't know, maybe I will go to the accessory store to see if they have any there, but I scrolled on Amazon for like two and a half hours until I just got tired because I seen some that I thought were okay, and I don't know, I just, like I said, I'd rather have no cover than to have something that I'm gonna think it's ugly, so. Yeah, we will do an unboxing. I'll be back when it's here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But at least hopefully she will be, I know she'll be in good hands, but hopefully she will be able to continue to be used, which I would love that. See, still in good condition. It's just an older model. Did I say it was a third generation and now they're on the 11th? Yeah. It was time for me to get another one. What had happened was the Kindle got delivered at 1.30. I was at work here, you know, went to the door, grabbed it, and I was going to take a 10 minute break and at least open it on video. And then I'm thinking, let me not do that because knowing me, I'm going to want to play with it and do whatever. So I set it on the coffee table, which the coffee table's in front of me. And yes, I'm sitting on my floor. So I set it on the coffee table, 
went back to work all excited could not wait to get off work so when i clocked out i ran to my seat here like a little kid on christmas morning and instead of pulling out the camera and all that good stuff i just opened it up and started doing all the things that i need to do and putting my information in it and then as i'm looking at it and trying to figure more things out i thought isn't there something I need to be doing? And then I looked at the camera, which is literally right here in front of me. As I was sitting there, the camera was here. Yeah, I failed y'all, I failed. So for what it's worth, for kicks and giggles, let's reimagine that I'm just now getting it. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just got my Kindle. Here it is, knife cutting box. Oh, look at the paper. Oh my goodness, look how it is. It's so small, you guys. Oh my goodness. But for real, I put it back in here just to show you guys how small it is. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I know I said we were gonna do an unboxing and I wanted you guys to get my initial reaction, which I'm so sorry, but it came in this, the lighting is not very good at this angle, but it came in this thing right here and the charging cord was in there, but like I told you guys earlier, it does not come with the brick. Here's the Kindle. Paper just has the Kindle thing right there. So you open it up. Oh, look how tiny it is, you guys. Charging ports on the bottom, and then one button that will turn it on. There we go. Okay, it was too ripe. So I'm actually in the middle of a book. So when I put all my information on here, right, my books were on here, but I had to download them to this particular device because I guess they're in the cloud somewhere. I will never lose them, but, uh, but once you put it on here, then I guess you need to download it to your actual device. So that's what I was doing earlier. And all my books are on here. And then the way you do it is, see, there's no buttons at all just the on and off button but to go to the next page you either do that or swipe or swipe or touch like that and then there's a drop down screen which has the settings the sync the on and off button for the bluetooth you can put this in dark mode all the settings right here you can put this on airplane mode and then when you're on the actual book you touch up here and then you go to back to the library. You can change, I know my lettering, my words are a little bit bigger. That's because you guys, I am getting older and sometimes if the words aren't big enough, I need my reader. So I always have to make them a little bit bigger now. Yeah, I'm getting old y'all. So you can do that and other things. And also what's good on here is, let me turn the brightness down just a little bit. That way I can let you guys see. I love this, right? So you can set it to, okay, I hope it's not blurry, but right here it shows you the percentage of the book that you are on. And then right here, it'll show, says 13 minutes left in this chapter. And you could tap it again and it'll tell you how many hours are left in the book that you have to read. And you tap it again and it shows you your location in the book. So far, that's all I know about it. And like I said, you guys, I am really so very sorry that you guys didn't get to see my initial reaction and something else that I found out. Y'all, TikTok, you can find out so many things between TikTok or YouTube. I was watching like people's unboxing and they were saying, and I was watching this like a few days ago. So they were saying how on the Kindles now, there's ads on the lock screen. And I'm thinking that they're talking about this. Remember I showed you guys earlier that every time you turn the Kindle off, a different picture will pop up. And I'm thinking, okay, that's not an ad. That's not gonna bug me. And they were saying that you can get your Kindle ad free. So when I got this, I did have an option to take the ads off for $20. When I got this, I thought one of these pictures was gonna pop up, right? No, y'all, it was an actual ad. 40% off or try this book or something like that. And I'm thinking, this is what they mean, ads? Are you serious? Who? That's like when you watch a trailer, watch something on Hulu or whatever, there's ads in ads. Insane. 
what's up America? I mean, come on. I don't want to see that every time. So a lot of different people that I watched on TikTok were saying how you can get that turned off. You can either pay the $20 or this is what I did y'all. So one lady said that she went on and she got her ads taken off for free. She just asked him, can you take it off this one time as a courtesy? And the person did. Sometimes they will do it, sometimes they won't. This is what the lady was saying. And then one lady said that she said her Kindle is around her kids and there's inappropriate ads that pop up. She doesn't want them to see it. So I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna lie. So I will try the first one. So I sent the message on Amazon and I told them, I said, hey, I got my Kindle in today. Can I get the ads taken off as a one-time courtesy? And he said, give me a second, let me check came back and he said yeah let me do it for you give me a second so he went in and then I noticed my Kindle turned off because I had it on and the good thing about it is the picture that's on it now will always be the book that you're reading so this is the book that I'm reading and it's by Amanda Hawking she's like one of my favorites when I first bought my older Kindle she only did e-readers and now you know you could buy an actual book from her but I still read some of her stuff so yeah that's the book that I am reading now and it's about mermaids yes I read fantasy books whatever I told you guys I'm you know read the young adult stuff and I guess you can also design your cover not just the book you're reading but if I want to do that, I'll look into that. I'll figure out how, but right now I'm okay with the cover of the book that I'm reading. And I also wanted to show you guys this. So look how tiny this is compared to my old Kindle. And this is actually small compared to the Kindle Scribe and the Oasis, but I measured it and both screens, the actual screens are the same size, but this is just smaller because it doesn't have all the extra around it or the keyboard so yeah this is my new baby and like I said I don't have a cover or anything like that for her but she's going to go in here until I find something now it's like this case is too big so now I definitely need to find something to put it in and now comes the I gotta deregister this so I can hopefully get Savannah's information on there. And she's at work now, so I haven't been able to press the deselect button or deregister button. I just I can't do it right now. And I'm I'm gonna do it, but I don't know. I just I just I just can't because y'all this is my this is my baby. This is my emotional support Kindle. That's what it is. That's what a Kindle is to me. Yeah. So yeah. Y'all, again, sorry I didn't get to open it. I had no big time fail, because I really wanted you guys to get my initial reaction, because I was happy, I was excited, and yes, I did know it was gonna be this small, which I didn't mind. It's the perfect size to put in my purse, and I will get the Oasis, like I said, but that one's a little bit bigger. That one's actually, I think, I think, that one's actually the size of a tablet, which is fine for me, but I will see how I do with that one since it's smaller. And I can't really say it, I mean, it technically is smaller than this, but the screen is the exact same size. So it just had, doesn't have the extra. So I'm happy. So this is the 2022 20, version. Oh my gosh. Y'all see what I'm doing? I cannot see this tiny little writing on the bottom of the box. Anyway, the paper white has paper white written right here. So the 11th generation, 2022, I mean, it's new, it's not refurbished or anything like that. So I will give you guys an update on how I'm liking it within the next few days because I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play with it and get off the floor. Hi guys. So it's been like maybe four days since I've gotten my new Kindle. And yes, I'm on the floor again, but not for long. Anyway, so I just wanted to pop back in to tell you guys that when I took off all my information on my old Kindle, Savannah was able to download her Amazon account. And at first, my books popped back on there also. She forgot that she needed to reset it to factory settings. So once she did that, she was able to put her information back on and then all of her books popped up. So. 
win-win and yeah hopefully she will enjoy it as much as I did like I said it's a loan it's not hers also I wanted to show you guys that I finally got a cover yes look at this you guys it looks like a notebook it's really cute look at that and the back is just plain and when you open it it automatically opens the book for you or the Kindle right here you could put your hand in it to hold it like this or there's a stand that you can use to set it down and read like that as well and they also got a pocket right here I guess you could put a card or something in there if you're traveling or whatever license whatever I probably won't ever do that but yeah you guys I finally found a cover that's worthy of Michelle and even though it's not the best one for now until I see another one that I like more and actually y'all let me stop I'm probably not gonna search for another one <laughs> If I'm somewhere and they happen to have Kindle book covers there and I see it, then yeah, I'll get something different, but I'm not going to go searching because I'm quite happy with this one. So yeah, you guys, that's my new Kindle and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's awesome. I like it. So maybe in a year or two, I'll upgrade to the Oasis, but I wanted to try this one first just to see if I would like the new Kindle the way it is and stuff like that. I don't like the Kindles that are on the tablet, like the Fire Kindle, because to me, that's just like, even though it's a Kindle, that's just like having a tablet, and I don't care about it doing other things. I'll go on my laptop for that, or my iPad, you know, or my phone. I want a Kindle that's just strictly books, and that's what I use it for, so yeah. Do you guys have a Kindle? Do you like it? What kind of Kindle do you guys have? What kind of Kindle do you guys suggest that I get after this? I know I just got it, but it won't, it'll be a while before I upgrade to another one. And I say two years, but knowing me, as long as this is in good working condition, I will probably have this for years and years like I did my other one. So yeah, I know it looks small. Look the size of my hand compared to this. But when I showed you guys my old Kindle, the actual screen, is the same size so yeah thank you guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye